Okay. So sitting comfortably. Really lengthen your spine. Make a conscious effort to really release, relax any tension in the body. Maybe roll the head, the shoulders. If you need to just drop the shoulders a few times, forcefully down, because usually because of the tension of the day, sometimes we are holding on, squeezing and tensing. So release. Focus on the breath. You can close the eyes or keep them slightly open. And then start noticing the body. Just noticing the parts of the body. See if there's any particular part that needs more tension or feels sore or achy. Yoga very often teaches us to observe and connect with the body. So take this moment here to simply notice, acknowledge, whatever it is, it's okay, just stay with it. <clears throat> and take a few deep breaths, directing them into the areas of the body that need Attention, love, warmth, oxygen. Just using the power of the mind. And after you've taken a few breaths into the areas that need it, bring back your attention to your sitting bones root them firmly into the ground adjust your pelvis so that um, actually adjust your hips so that they are not tilted too much forwards not too much back gently lift the pelvic floor up and imagine you're drawing energy from the ground up through the pelvic floor into your spine all the way to the crown of the head. Really lengthen and imagine the vertebra expanding, spaces between the vertebra expanding. Bring the chin gently towards the chest. Relax the face. Relax the mind. leave your day behind, let go of any thoughts, any worries, and simply be here and now with your breath and your body. Start to slowly lengthening, lengthen your breath. Lengthening both the inhalation and the exhalation. Notice the air as it comes in through the nostrils. And then as it leaves the nostrils. Fine tuning on the small details like the warmth of the breath when it comes through the nostrils and when it comes out through the nostrils. Notice any difference. See if there's any difference between the free flow of breath in the left and the right nostril. Is anyone more active than the other? Is 
any of them more open. And whatever it is, just let it be. And continue focusing on the breath. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. Gently bring your attention now to the back of the throat and constrict it as if you're closing the aperture of a camera, just reducing the opening. And see how the air starts almost whistling through the back of the throat. The breath becoming longer, smoother. A couple more cycles of breath here, Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. And continuing to breathe like so, you can start to slowly open the eyes, coming back to the room. Take a moment or so before you start moving. And then let's slowly twist towards the right, left hand on your knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, press the hand into the floor, the hand that is behind. Lengthen the spine and exhale. Look behind the shoulder, twist. Let's take three more breaths. Relaxing the face, relaxing the shoulders down. And slowly, Reversing, coming back to the other side. Left hand behind you this time, press the floor behind you, lengthen the spine and exhale, twist. Look behind the back and breathe. Slow, smooth breath. One more like this. And inhale, come back to center. Let's change this crossing of your legs. Grab your strap or whatever it is that you have with you. We're going to do a bit of shoulder mobility today. So let's bring the arms above the head. Hold the strap a little wider than your shoulders and really straighten your arms. Drop your shoulders down. Pull the belly in. Take an inhale. Length through the spine. Exhale. Bend to the right. Pulling the two ends of the strap. Keeping the two shoulders open. And imagine you're almost doing a back bend. Shoulder blades towards one another. Take another long, deep breath, lengthen the spine. Exhale, engage the core. See if you can sink a little more into the bend and inhale, center. Exhale, left. Top shoulder opening. See if you can look underneath your armpit. Keep both arms straight. Keep pulling the two ends of the strap. Very nice. One more breath here. Lengthen on an inhale. Bend a little more on an exhale. And inhale. Center. 
Now you may need to release the strap a little more. We're going to bring the arms straight behind the back. So if you start bending the arms, release the strap a little and bring the arms all the way down. Inhale, up, exhale, bring the strap in front of you. Inhale, up, exhale, behind. Inhale, up, exhale, front. Inhale, up, exhale, keep it just behind your shoulder blades. Really feel the stretch across the chest, the upper arms, the armpits, the pecs, belly contracted, pelvic floor lifted. Take another breath and inhale slowly, come to the front. Now leaving the right arm up, turn the bicep forward and then bring the left arm behind you straight. So both arms, we're trying to keep them both straight. The one is up in the air by the ear, the other one is back. So try not to banana your back too much. Tuck the tail under, engage the core, and then see if you can bring the back arm further towards the floor. Just experiment, maybe you can pulse moving forwards, back. And remember to breathe. And then slowly bringing both arms up and changing. Left arm by the ear, right arm behind you. Front bicep pointing towards the front of the room. The back arm trying to reach the floor. Tuck the tail, pull the belly in. Nice, very nice. Another breath. And inhale. Coming back up. Now, make the strap a little shorter, so maybe I will do mine in four. And grab it in your right hand. So we start with the right hand first. We're going to do the Gomokasana arms. We've done this many times, so bringing the elbow back with the other hand. Again, pointing the tricep forward. Sorry, I keep saying bicep, but it's tricep forward. And then turn the left shoulder in, bend the arm, grab the strap. Good, keep pulling the strap in the two directions. If you can, catch your fingers. Go ahead and do that. If not, hold the strap, pull it in the opposite direction and open the elbows towards the back of the room. Again, engaging your belly, tucking the tail under. Option here to go forwards. If you wish to try, if not, stay where you are. Keep pulling on the strap, opening the elbows to the back. One more breath. And on your next inhale, if you're down, come up. On your next exhale, release, change the arms. So left hand holds the strap, bend, elbow, being pulled back by the opposite hand. And then internally rotate the right shoulder and arm, bend the arm, grab the strap. Good. Pull on the strap, elbows back, contract the belly, tuck the tail, especially for those one with lower back problems. Try not to keep a banana back. And then slowly, if you've done it on the other side, come forwards with a straight back. Keep pulling on the
on your next inhale come back up if you're down and on your next exhale release move the strap away for a moment good let's straighten the legs your hamstrings are maybe quite tight at the moment so maybe give your legs a little bit of a shake loosen them up first and then let's uh, flex and point the feet a few times, bringing mobility to the ankles. And on your next inhalation, let's lengthen through the spine, flex through the feet, and exhale, come forwards. It's the first forward fold for today. We haven't stretched and opened up the backs of the legs, so it's fine if you are feeling more stiff. You can bend the knees, and you can relax the head just allow gravity to bring you closer to the earth without too much pulling wanting just let go allow the earth to pull you down good and then from here inhale and come up and maybe either use your strap or if you can grab onto your toes so let's let's all grab the toes initially bend the knees and let's come back leaning back balancing on the hips you're keeping your knees bent and then you're going to start opening the legs maybe they're bent that's fine maybe they can open that's also fine then if you strap maybe you need a long enough strap so that you can open your legs and keep the ends of the strap like that belly is engaged shoulders are down chest is open Good. Couple more breaths here. Relax the face. Engage that belly. Feel the fire in your belly. And then let go of the feet, but keep the legs up. Keep them up. Maybe close the legs together. Staying in Navasana for five, four, three, two, one. Cross the feet, bring them underneath your hips, roll forward, step or jump into plank. Good. Again, tailbone is down, shoulders are opening to the front. Keep looking forward, really straighten your legs, squeeze the muscles into the bones, send the heels back push the floor gently round the upper back one more breath and then with the right knee towards the left uh, elbow straighten it the other way left knee to the right elbow two more each side slowly maybe exhaling when you come forward inhaling when you come back last round for me and from here knees chest chin or maybe chaturanga if you're feeling strong inhale in cobra now open your feet as wide as your mat roll your little toes down towards the ground roll the shoulders back really lengthen those bellies Pubic bone into the floor. James, see if you can push yourself a little higher. Yeah, and then tuck the toes and exhale through child's pose and into up uh, downward facing dog. I'm forgetting the poses today. Walk the dog.
bending the one knee, then the other. Let's all release the head, shake it. Yes, no. And let's all engage this Hasta Bandha that we learned yesterday, pressing through the hands, pressing through the balls of your fingers, especially the index and the thumb, and through the top of your fingers. Take care not to have too much weight, weight on the heel of the hands. And imagine the middle of the hands lifting. Roll the shoulders open, chest to the thighs, heels to the back of your Nice. So you can have a breath. And on your next inhale, we're going to send the right leg up towards the sky, flex the foot. And let's do 10 pulses here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now stretch the leg up, bend the knee, point it towards the sky, and bring the heel towards the opposite hip. Looking underneath your armpit, really don't be shy to open your legs, open the top leg, point the knee to the sky, take another breath, and then exhale, slowly start bringing the knee forwards towards your forehead and between your hands. High lunge, drop the hips down. Start moving forwards and back. Up and down. Now bring both hands on the inside of your right foot and then walk them a little bit to the left. And now we're going to do circles with the hips, with the knee off the floor. So circling the hips. Outwards, and then in the opposite direction. Good. And now walk the hands back in line with your foot. Actually, let's frame the foot and drop the knee down. Good, so here you can use your blocks or if you can reach the floor, stay with your hands on the floor. I'm trying to untangle my earring, good. And let's take another two, three breaths in this pose. back and come into your half split pose. Flex the right foot and roll the shoulders back. Now if this is too painful you can always bend the knee a little. That will allow you to come closer to your thigh and that will also allow you to have a straighter back. Benny, roll the shoulders back a little more. Straighten the top of your back. Yeah, take them. And send the right hand up towards the sky. Stack the top shoulder over the bottom shoulder. And optional, tucking the toe, the back toe, and lifting the back knee off the floor. Revolve the chest, the right side of the rib cage towards the sky. Keep that front knee over your ankle. 
Send the heel to the back of the room, the crown of the head to the front of the room. And exhale, straighten that arm by your face with the palm facing backwards. Another breath, lengthen and exhale, frame the front foot. Good, now straighten. And here you've got an option to lift the front toes off the floor or keep them on. The back heel is off. You're using your blocks if you can't reach and you're rounding your back. Good. Now, if you're crunching your neck too much to look forward, now bring the chin into the chest, lengthen the neck, feel into the back of that right leg, enjoy the stretch, rotate the right hip back, the left hip forwards. Then you come on to the higher level of the blocks because your back is still quite rounded. Okay, that's better. Yeah, very good. One more breath. And then exhale, come down. Then the front knee, frame the front foot. From here, engage the core, prepare to come into a three-legged dog. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, bring the leg down. Good, let's take one breath in downward facing dog. Turn the hips up, exhale plank, and then move through a vinyasa, whichever way, your choice, or maybe skip the vinyasa and stay in down dog. And let's all meet in downward facing dog. Walk the dog and they then come into a stationary down facing dog. Engage the hand lock, has the banda, press through the tops of the fingers, press through the base of your fingers, and on your next inhale. Lift the left leg up, flex the foot, square your hip. And let's do the 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And really stretch that leg, start turning the hip to the left, then the knee, turn the knee open towards the sky. Try and touch. The opposite hip with your heel, look underneath your armpit. Continue to breathe. It's a strong pulse, keep pressing through both arms, both hands, both arms straight. And then exhale, start bringing that knee in towards your forehead. And then step it through. Exhale, drop the hips a little lower and let's start moving forwards and back, up and down. Now transfer your hands inside your left foot and walk your hands a bit to the right. And then start with your circles. And then change direction. And then when you're ready, let's drop the back knee down on the floor. Walk your front foot in between your hands. And we're going to stay here. Now sink into the right hip. Feel the opening of the front of your right leg. Long spine, shoulders back. 
Relax your face. If you're crunching the neck, looking too much forward. Just allow the chin to come closer to the chest. You can just listen to the instructions. You know the poses. You don't need to look at the camera. Final breath. Before you slowly move back into half splits. So straightening the front leg. Flexing the left foot. And then here, push that left hip crease back. Roll the thigh down. That squares your hips. Bend the front knee if you need to. And breathe. Good, very nice straight backs, everybody. Focus on your breath. And then inhale, coming forward. Now, your right hand will stay down on the floor. You'll rotate your chest to the left. The left arm up, look towards the sky or towards your arm. There's no sky ceiling. And option to lift the back knee off the floor. So do the same you did on the other side on or off the floor. Really stack that left shoulder over the right. Think about showing your belly button over your left thigh. Left knee stays over the ankle, don't open it. And for the last couple of breaths, stretch the arm by your ear, palm facing back. Breathe into that top shoulder. And then exhale, release. Frame the front foot. And inhale, straighten the front leg. Maybe flex the front foot. Pyramid pose. I think that my internet is a bit slow. We're just repeating the same sequence on this side. So rolling the shoulders back. This time again, left hip goes back, right hip comes forward. Engage the core. Keep breathing. Very nice. And then exhale, bend the front knee, frame the front foot. Prepare to kick back in a three-legged dog. Engage the core. Slide the foot back and stretch it up. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale in down dog. Stretch the body, turn the hips up. Feel the opening in the backs of the legs. And then exhale, come forward, move through a vinyasa. Inhaling, back bending. And exhaling, let's stay on the knees. Sit on our heels and relax in child's pose for a few breaths. Just like you to take notice of your hips, the sensations there. If you want, you can open the knees in child's pose and drop the forehead on the ground. If it doesn't reach, use your wrists or maybe blocks. And notice the breath. See if it's any different than when we started in the beginning. Notice also what thoughts are going through your mind. And then simply bring the attention back to your breathing. Let them go.
we connect to the earth and to the body. Just a couple more breaths here in silence. And on your next inhalation, look between your hands, spread the fingers, press through the tips of the fingers, the bases of your fingers, and then tuck the toes and lift up, downward facing dog. Let's take a breath here, rolling the shoulders out, turning the tailbone up, and exhale, heels to the back of the room. Open the backs of those legs. And then come on tippy toes, look forwards, transfer the weight a little, bend the knees, walk, step, or jump into halfway forward fold. So your hands can be on your shins or on your thighs if you don't reach the floor but really turn the tail, tailbone up, roll the shoulders back. And again, remember not to crunch the neck. And then here I'd like you to, again, bring your attention to the backs of your legs. Turn the sitting bones up towards the sky. Root firmly through your heels and through the base of your big toe and your little toe. You can lift your toes to activate a padabanda or the foot lock. Just taking another couple of breaths here. Breathing into the backs of the legs. And on your next exhale, release down into a full forward fold. Open your feet hip distance if they are not there already and grab the hands behind your back or use your strap. And then palms towards one another, release the arms forwards, fold into, release the top of the head down. And breathe. Now, if it's too much for the backs of the legs, you can always bend them. If it's too much for the arms, you can always release the hold of the strap and move your arms further away from one another. Again, think Padabandha. May you lift your toes, press through the four corners of the feet. Lift the arches. Turn the tailbone up. Couple more breaths. And then slowly release the arms. Maybe come into a slight bend in your knees. And let's walk the feet together. From here, we're going to prepare to come into a chair. So squeezing the ankles together and the knees together. Good, inhale, sweep the arms back and then down, touch the floor and up. Lengthen, bring the arms by your ears, tuck the tail under, engage the core, come a little lower. James, lean a little more forwards. But if you're trying to reach for something, send your bum back, a lot more back. And exhale, hands in prayer. Preparing for a twist. So first the left elbow behind the right knee. Press the top arm down. Prayer towards the middle of the chest. Open the top shoulder. Sit a little lower 
and send your right hip forwards, left hip back. Good. Keep breathing. And on your next exhale, look down towards your toes. Lift your left foot off the floor, but keep squeezing the knees together. Knees together. So you're like a little flamingo. And then if you can, you can stretch that leg all the way back. Maybe hold for a couple of breaths. Keep your focus down on the floor, belly engaged, and then step down. Good. And let's come out of the twist. Frame the front foot. Walk your hands forwards and come into a, what is like a supported warrior three. Flex your left foot down towards the ground. So the foot down towards the ground, the toes actually, and the knee down. So Benny, rotate your toes a little bit more down. Yeah, good. Left hand stays where it is or grab a block. We're going for a twist. So it's not the same leg and the same arm. So left leg up, right arm up. Yeah, I'm gonna watch to see if you got it right. Good. Yes, try and stack the shoulders. It's not an easy pose. Keep pointing those left toes down, flexing the foot. Very nice. Take another breath. Open the chest and exhale. Release the arm down on the floor. Okay, let's step the back leg on the floor. Give that hip a little bit of a rest. Straighten the front leg, support the hand on the shin. And let's come to triangle. This will give you a little bit of a relief. Maybe. I can feel my right hip. Tuck the right hip under. Lengthen through the spine, engage the belly. And then slowly exhale, release the left hand on your shin as well. And then walk the hands towards the left to come in the middle. Nice, toes pointing forwards, heels slightly out. Place your hands on your hips halfway up and squeeze the elbows towards one another. Really feel the opening here across the chest, the pectoral muscles, elbows towards one another and then release the whole body down, the top of the head down. Remember to squeeze those elbows. Remember Pada Bandha, lift the toes, engage the arches. And then keep pressing on the four corners. You can release the toes or you can keep them up. Sitting bones turning up towards the sky. Good, couple more breaths. And then inhale, release the hands in the middle. Now you're gonna to turn towards your left leg and you wanna step your right leg next to it coming into a full forward fold. So I'm gonna turn so I can see you. So now we're going to do the same sequence but we're going to repeat it on the other side. So ankles together, knees together. Squat a little lower, send the arms back through the floor and up, send the hips back so you can see your toes. And on your next exhale, slowly prayer in front of the heart. Now, right elbow behind the left knee, pressing the top arm down, 
pointing the left elbow up, look behind the shoulder. Send the right hip forwards, left hip back. Lengthen the spine, sit a little lower, and exhale, look down towards your toes, squeeze the knees, and lift the right foot off the floor. Keep squeezing the knees. And then maybe straighten the leg. Nice, long deep breaths. And then exhale. Step, release the prayer. Frame the front foot. Walk your hands a little forwards and lift your back leg off the floor. Point the toes down. The knee down. Good. Final little bit of effort. Now grabbing your block underneath your right hand. And then the left arm opens, so you're coming into a twist. Trying to keep the leg up. The shoulder stacked. So, uh, Annie, it's the other arm down, the other arm down, left arm down. For you, I think you've got either the leg or the arm down. I'm wrong, sorry. But it's opposite arm, opposite leg. And then slowly release, release the back leg down. And then let's do the triangle on this side. You might need to open the stance of your legs. Open the shoulders, bring the shoulder blades towards one another, the shoulders down. Look towards your hand, your thumb. Two more breaths. And then slowly release the right arm on top of the left shin and turn towards the middle for another forward fold. So I'll face you. Okay, from here, let's place the hands in the middle in front of us. Use your blocks if you can't reach. And let's really turn the sitting bones up towards the sky. Try and achieve the banana back here. I know it's not easy, but this is what will help you get into the backs of those legs. Yeah, roll the shoulders back. And now leave the left hand down on the floor and open the right arm up. From here, you can either keep the arm there or wrap it around your waist and grab the left inner thigh. Now I'm showing options, do as much as you can. And then the other final option is to grab the right ankle with the left hand and come really deep towards that right leg. Keep opening the shoulder of the right, the right shoulder, over the shoulder of the right side and breathe. Good, final breath. And then release, come to the middle. And now the right hand is down, left arm is up. And this is option one. Option two, wrapping the arm, grabbing the right inner thigh. Option three, grabbing the ankle or wherever you can reach. And then bring the body closer to the left leg. Good. Final couple of breaths. And then release, bringing both hands in the middle. And here, let's go through our favorite yogic squat. I don't know if it's your favorite, but it's mine. Prayer in front of the heart. 
Uh, and battery just goes low. So you should be able to see me now. Yep. Good. Long spine. Chin to the chest. Every time I do that, it feels so great to lengthen my neck. And if you feel like you can move the chin side to side. That's for those with the stiff necks. Good. And then from here, we're going to slowly go down on the floor. But let's go um, on all fours first. And stretch the arms forward just to do a nice puppy pose to bring a little bit more expansion into the chest and the shoulders. So that's option one. Option two is if you've got a piece of furniture like me, a chair, you can go a little deeper by placing your elbows shoulder distance, walking your knees back, sinking the chest down, and then bringing reverse prayer towards the back. So this is option for those of you who'd like to try it. If not, stay in puppy. And let's stay here for another few breaths. Turn the tailbone down wherever you are. Engage the core. Breathe. Last couple of breaths. And then slowly come out of the pose. And let's somehow find our way on our back. So you can just roll over, it's fine. Lying on the back because I think we've got just the final five minutes left. Let's bring the knees into the chest, give them a hug, squeeze them in and then maybe gently rock from side to side. If you want Final stretch for your hips, you can go for the happy baby. Or if you haven't had enough twists, go for a twist on either side or any other pose that you fancy. Maybe you can rock the baby, pressing the feet, alternating one and the other. And then when you've had enough, I will advise you to get yourself really comfortable. If you wish to switch off the light, you can do that. Grab whatever you need. I'm going to try and share some music with you. So let's see how that one goes. If at any time it, it doesn't feel good, please wave a hand or something and I'll stop it. So start letting go, relaxing the body, relaxing the breath. Relaxing all the facial muscles. And really with every breath, 
breath you take, start to feel more relaxed. More at ease. Let go of the day. And fully enjoy your relaxation.
You can either slowly start waking up the body or stay and lengthen your relaxation a little longer. Whichever way you choose. Thank you. Enjoy your evening.